Hi guys. So, um, sorry it's been a while <laughs> since I've uploaded. Um, but I just have been, oh god, I've been in this weird funk. Um, so I haven't even, I haven't been vlogging or anything. Um, and I'm, I just thought I'd add on a little filter just to, you know, take away from the fact that I look like shit. Anyway, um, this video that you're about to see is from, like, the last week of April. Um, I decided to, like, declutter my bookshelf, which is something I've been talking about for ever. So I go through some of my favorite DVDs and stuff you'll see in the video, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much all this, this is. Um, but I will be back to my, um, regular scheduling this weekend. So, like, there should be a weekly vlog coming up on Friday or Saturday. And, like, some kind of midweek video going up next week. So yeah, thank you guys for being patient, and I'll see you soon. Love you, bye. Hello. Wow, I look like a zombie. Eyeliner all smudged because I took a nap. Anyway, um, now I have moved on to cleaning my bookshelf, which I literally just started, so it's, all, it's like a wreck. I've dusted my bookshelves, which are those, but I'm needing to open up a new bookshelf because my book collection is just growing and growing. So there's going to be some reorganization going on here. I'm dusting as well, which is great because I'm not allergic to dust or anything. Um, this is my process. <laughs> there's trash back there, books I'm going to donate, stuff I just haven't fit on the shelf yet. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know. And uh, hopefully in the process of reorganizing this whole thing, I will find a certain book that I'm looking for, which was gifted to me by one of my friends that I really want. Anyway, I'll show you guys the end result, or maybe if I find something cool, I'll uh, show you guys. So this is literally five seconds after I just stopped filming, but um, I just wanted to tell you guys what my plan is. So um, I'm going to text message. I don't have a lot of space in my room, so I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to make piles of stuff because with my DVDs, which some of these DVDs I've had since I was like 13. Some of these DVDs, with the DVDs, I'm going to make piles based on genre. And Toby keeps coming in wanting to play, and it's just not working. He's gonna, cause you know, I'm throwing trash and books everywhere. He's gonna get hurt. I don't want him in here, so I'm, yeah. But um, I'm gonna make piles based on genre. <laughs> and then same with the books. Maybe not the book. Eh, I haven't figured out the books yet, but the movie is genre. And then just figure out what all the other shit in the bookshelf is, because honestly, I have no idea. It's like notebooks, little tiny notepads, stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Sorry I look like shit. Alright guys, so here's my giant pile of DVDs. To put things in perspective, here's my hand. Here's all the DVDs. Um... I haven't, obvi obviously I haven't sorted through anything, this is just taken off the shelves, but I thought I would show you some of my favorites, or some just funny memories. The reason I thought of doing this is because I found this! Laguna Beach, season one. Unbelievable. I had the biggest crush on this guy right here, Steven. Steven! <laughs> he was also on One Tree Hill eventually, he became an actor. Um, you know, a lot, a lot, if any of you used to watch this show, let me know in the comments because this was one of my favorite shows when I was 12, and I live in Orange County, which is weird. I, I mean, funny story. I even went, I was 12. I didn't, I had never been to Laguna Beach. Orange County is a very large county. There's a lot of cities within Orange County. I never lived in Laguna Beach. I never had gone to Laguna Beach because I just never did. So one day, my dad drove me to Laguna Beach <laughs> and I took pictures in front of the places that the people had worked when they had filmed the show which I don't think they worked there anymore after the show was done filming so it, it's not like they were there I just went as like a tourist in my own kind of city it was stupid but you know I was 12 and uh, it was kind of an embarrassing memory but if I can find those photos I will insert them in a video eventually, but I have or put them on my blog. I don't think I'm gonna find them though. That'll maybe when we move, which I don't think I've told you guys, but we might be moving. Amazing 90s film. Drew Barrymore. 
Never Been Kissed. Such a good movie. So I'm going through my Harry Potter DVDs, right? Because I pretty much have every one, I think, except maybe one I'm missing. They're all gone. This this is Chamber of Secrets. It's not in here. Cha uh, this is Order of the Phoenix. Not in here. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Not in there. What the heck? Maybe they're... I'm checking. I'm going to check every case to find these damn DVDs. Because I kind of used to do that. I used to leave DVDs around everywhere. But also, I used to have certain people that stayed with me when I was like 18 that... But like, did they steal my DVDs? You know? It's like, who does... The, what, what? What? Anyway, Harry Potter. Huge fan, of course. Well, at least the Half-Blood Prince is still in its box, case, whatever. Um, I begged my dad for Christmas to find me the one with Draco Malfoy on it. Here's Harry, here's Draco, because I'm a Draco fan. Another great 90s film. Look at young James Franco. Looper, such a good movie. It features Joseph Gordon-Levitt and um, Bruce Willis, who I'm obsessed with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Ever since the movie called Brick came out a few, several years ago, um, and it was actually directed by this same director, Brian Johnson. He's my favorite writer and director, so yeah, good one. Check it out. She's the man. Best movie ever. Such a good film. Um, and look, I brought this over to a friend's house when I was younger, and we played MASH. Cool memory. Disturbia, one of my favorite thrillers ever. Really good movie. Oh my god, the busted A Ticket for Everyone live DVD. I, the first time, okay, I ordered this off Amazon when I was like 10 or 11. And I remember sitting super close to the TV and fangirling so hard over busted. Love them. I'm so glad they're back together. A Walk to Remember, I used to be obsessed with this movie. I used to watch it like all night long on repeat. Wishing I could find a love as beautiful as that. Um, I even, I will go so far as to say I like this more than The Notebook absolutely love this movie a series of unfortunate events i had all the books i think i still haven't finished here's the thing i still haven't finished the series i don't even remember where i left off i think i left off on like book nine so i still have like 10 11 to read i think i got rid of all my series of unfortunate events books which kind of sucks but great series and great movie really funny the freaking lizzie mcguire movie obsessed definitely keeping one of the best movies ever. Love, I was obsessed with Hillary Duff growing up. While we're on the growing up track. Boy Meets World. I think it's season three. Yeah. Season three. Boy Meets World was a gift from um, Sebastian, actually. Really great gift. Thanks, Sebastian. Obsessed. Day After Tomorrow. Obsessed. Into the Blue. Love Jessica Alba. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. I miss you. He was one of my favorite actors. And I don't know if this is mine, but Baby Mama is a really good movie, too. Also, The Hitcher, good horror film with Sophia Bush from Montreal, but the DVD is not in the box. I don't know where. Best movie ever. Seriously, best movie ever. Me and my best friend in fifth grade were obsessed with this. We were obsessed with the drummer. Is there a picture of him? Nope. The little blonde kid. And a Cinderella story. Oh my god. This was my favorite movie because I was obsessed with him and I was obsessed with her. And I thought they were so cute. Let's make sure it's in here. It is. Thank God. Definitely cute. So this is how I have the DVDs set up. I have the series, like film series, um, in the front. Comedy action in the back. Horror in the front. Um, kind of kitty comedy in the back. Um, I'm going to know kind of what area to look in. But it's not my favorite way of organizing them. But it's what it's going to do for now. This is just like progress. I have my stuffed toys behind the books because I did. It's just a waste of space if I don't put anything back there because I don't want to put a book in front of a book. Then down here is all of my TV series.